Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com, and this video is about earning the income level that you desire. More specifically, we're gonna talk about becoming the kind of person that earns the income level that you desire. So the first thing, real quick mentally, I just want you to choose a number, whether it's you wanna make $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, a million dollars a month, it doesn't matter. Make it relatively realistic for the trajectory that you're on, right? So that next big step that you're like, man, gotta get to that 10K a month marker, man, I really want to hit that 100 grand a month mark. Perfect. Hold that in your mind because right now where you're at, there's a gap between where you are right now and where you want to be. And oftentimes people look at what do I need to go do, right? What are those little like Facebook ads and drop shipping and, and the actual tactical things, the things oftentimes that fake gurus will sell you as the solution. But I'm here to tell you in this video that that's not always actually the solution and rarely in fact is it because all of the information on how to do all those little bits and pieces that information is readily available to you. Obviously, you're on YouTube right now or you're listening to the podcast. The world of podcasts and YouTube has all of the information. It's never a knowledge gap between where you are and where you want to be. So what is it? What is the gap? How do you actually get there? It's ultimately because you're not creating enough value in the marketplace. And more specifically, you're not doing the kinds of things, the daily actions that people who earn that income level do. So what I'm getting at here is that if you're currently not making any money online and you're looking at that 10 grand a month mark thinking there's a method or a hack to getting there, you're looking in the wrong place. You need to look inside and you need to understand and study what is it that people who generate $10,000 per month online, what do they do day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out, what are the activities that they're doing? And I guarantee you when you approach it this way and you look at it through this lens, you'll find, I've spoken a lot about what they do, they put in a lot of effort publishing content. It could be organic content, it could be content through ads, they grow lists, they make offers, they make free offers, they make paid offers, they build relationships with their list, they put in the work day in and day out every single day. So then you're able to look at what you're doing, right? What are the steps that you're taking every day? Are you doing the things that someone who earns that level of income does? Are you spending most of your day consuming content? Are you spending most of your mornings reading all of the pitch emails that came in your inboxes from the fake gurus thinking, is this the thing that's gonna get me to that income I desire? Is that the thing that's gonna get me to that? Because I'll tell you right now, as someone who makes many multiples more than 10 grand a month, we don't spend any time considering those offers from other people. What we do is we open an email like that, if somehow we're on a list, we click unsubscribe as fast as we can to clean out our inbox to get back to putting out valuable content that is being of service to our audience. Another thing, another way to think about it is a lot of times people when they're trying to get going, they're trying to make money, they're thinking, man, they, what keeps you up at night, right, if you're in that situation can often be, I don't really feel like, oh man, like I'm worried about my income. I'm worried about how am I going to get what I need. I oftentimes people who aren't generating the 10 grand a month mark or the 100 grand a month lose sleep over how can I get to that next income level? And it's not until you shift that over and I guarantee you every person who makes 10 grand a month, 100 grand a month or more, they care more about their audience and their customers than they do themselves. And it's when you begin to lose sleep thinking the thoughts of, man, how am I gonna give more value to my audience? What can I create that's gonna help my audience? How can I help those people in my audience solve their problems and when their problems are keeping you up at night and their problems are the dominant force and the dominant thought process in your mind and you truly live in alignment with focusing your efforts on being a problem solver for them to help them solve their problems not worried about yourself not worried about how you're gonna get yours but you're worried about how you can help them better their lives more effectively that is the mindset shift and oftentimes this is why people really People go to programs like the Tony Robbins programs because ultimately they need to become a new person, an entirely new person in order to achieve the results that they want. The Miles Beckler that's speaking to you right now, right? Successful full-time internet marketer for eight plus years, made over a million dollars online. I am a very different person than who I was 
in 2003, in 2004. I had started making money online in those days, but I was really concerned about Miles and I thought Miles was kind of special. And I didn't make this shift to focusing on others until about 2010. And when I made that shift and I really focused on what would someone who's successful do with their time? This is when I started studying personal development, the Tony Robbins books, Unleash the Power Within, um, books, even a fiction book like The Celestine Prophecies or Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, um, Law of Attraction book by Abraham and Esther Hicks. It wasn't until I really started to learn about those things that other people do to create success in their lives and how they go about creating success that I was able to actually build myself into a more valuable person. I built myself and became an entirely different person. And that is ultimately what you need to do. It's not about a hack. It's not about a program. It's not about buying into some system. It's not about some group coaching thing on Facebook. That is not what will ultimately get you to your desired income results. It's about becoming a better person, becoming the type of person that adds more value to the lives of others than you seek to get in return. When you reach that magical point of your focus on giving value, of being service to others, and that is your dominant focus in life, everything starts to work. And oftentimes we have to rebuild ourselves. And this is why studying biographies of super successful people are so important. This is where those types of events, like the Tony Robbins events, can be so powerful for people because they have breakthrough experiences. They go into a Tony Robbins event as someone who's trying to figure it out and, oh, I don't know, I got all these problems, I got this stuff going on in my life and I can't do this, I can't do that. And then you walk on fire and you jump up and down for three days straight and all of a sudden, boom, you walk away from that event and you're like, you know what? I'm a new type of person now. I'm the type of person who gives value to others. I'm the type of person who doesn't complain. I'm the type of person who takes challenges head on and I'm excited to see challenges because as I break through challenges, I know I'm on the path to success. It's really about creating yourself into a new type of person who is the person who gives value to others. First, you focus on helping others achieve what they want. As Zig Ziglar has said so many times so successfully, it is uh, once you help other people get at, you can get anything you want in life if you help enough people get what they want in life. And this, this video has been a little difficult. This is one that's been on my mind for a while and it's been difficult for me to come up with the words because it gets a little bit into the kind of almost metaphysics, right? It's the, it's the energy behind what we're doing. It's not the method you're using. It's not whether you're doing Facebook ads or drop shipping or, or building a list or affiliate marketing or any of that stuff, local marketing. It doesn't really matter. What matters is the type of person you are and how you approach the challenges that you confront, how you approach your potential clients and what you do for them and how you see your relationships and your duty to your clients versus are you just trying to get, right? Are you just out there trying to get from the world and how can I get money from online and how, man, maybe I could direct link and scam somebody else something over here. If you're approaching business in that way, you're never going to make it long term. And my ultimate goal for you is to help you create a long term sustainable business that you can really create a family on, that you can create a lifestyle on, that can pay you and help you live a comfortable life in your 60s, your 70s, your 80s, your 90s, maybe even beyond as technology continues to improve. It is important to be thinking at that level of what you do. And here I am, you know, I'm out camping, I'm on a big road trip for my wife and my ninth anniversary, and I've been thinking a lot about this video about, man, what does it really take for you to create success? And for several days now, I've been thinking, how am I gonna put this video together? And like, when I started the video, I didn't even know. I started and stopped this video four or five different times. So it's like, how do I even explain this? It's a very difficult concept for me to explain, but I know that I have to get this out for you because I know that inside of this, there's an aha moment for you and inside of this idea is the truth of what will help you create the kind of income that you want. So wherever you're at, look at that next level. If it's 10 grand a month, 100 grand a month, it doesn't matter. Then go figure out what are the daily actions that people do, right? And then you have to become the kind of person that does those actions. You have to become a disciplined person who wakes up first thing in the morning and you get the most important thing done first. You have to become a producer of content, not a consumer of content. If you're currently spending more time consuming content than you are creating content, that is because you are you are a consumer and you have to literally become a whole new person who is a 
producer. And that's the kinds of shifts that are all around in your business. And I don't care what business model you're working, that is the path to success. I hope this makes some sense. Again, a few of the books that have helped me so, so well on my path. Um, I would definitely say Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, talking about energy, vibration, the Law of Attraction book written in 1985 by Esther and Jerry Hicks. It might be under Abraham Hicks. Um, Lorna Byrne, she is the creator of The Secret, but her second book called The Power was actually really, really powerful powerful for me. I think that was a great book on my path. Um, the Celestine Prophecies is another one. We live in a world that is based on energy. If you zoom in on anything with an electron microscope close enough, any hard physical matter turns into a wavelength and into an energy field at some point. So once you learn about how these energies work, whether you call it karma or the law of attraction, reaping and sowing, whatever words you use for it, when you figure out how this stuff works and you start to live your life in alignment with this and be the type of person who gives the kind of value you first, you give to others, you focus on helping others achieve their goals first, and you realize that what comes back to you will come back to you. Like the karma saying, right? They say, uh, karma's a bitch. Well, not necessarily. Karma's only a bitch if you are, right? Like if you're cool with everybody, if you're helpful, if you give value to everybody, what does karma do in that kind of a situation? Karma will give value back to you. Your income is a direct reflection of how much you're helping how many people. If you're helping a small amount of people with a huge problem, you could generate good money. If you're helping large amounts of people with relatively small problems, you could be making lots and lots of money. If you're not helping anybody, not even yourself, solve any sorts of problems, you're not gonna be making any money. It's that simple and you have to become the kind of person who goes out of their way to solve and help others solve their problems. When you get there, when you become that kind of a person, everything starts to work. That's the goal for me in this video is to help you understand that you need to shift what you're doing and you actually need to become a totally different person. This is where I think my study of personal development and the law of attraction has served me so greatly over the years. It really truly has helped me uh, immensely in understanding what I need to do and what kind of energies I need to live with in my life of giving values to others and making sure I'm helping others because it's the karma idea, right? If I'm a good person who helps give value and Theoretically, if I can help you earn enough money in your life, if I can help you get to that 10 grand a month, what's gonna happen to me? What's karma gonna do for me? What's law of attraction gonna do for me? What are all these, the law of reciprocity going to do? You see it here in this channel, I think really clearly, and you need to make sure you're applying this for your audience and your business, and if you don't know where that is or where you're getting, just start. You have to sometimes just start, put out the content, become a creator of content, become a producer. Everything will ultimately figure itself out with you and for you as you go down that path. You'll learn things that work, you'll learn things that don't work, you'll set up a minimum viable funnel, it might work, it might not, you'll run some split tests, you will learn those things that are the biggest challenges for your audience. Then you will be able to create products, you will be able to find products, you will be able to help them solve their problems, and therein lies your path to that next level whether it's 10 grand a month, 100 grand a month, or more. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, I don't even know what to title this one. It's been kind of fun, but um, if you enjoy this kind of like a little outside of the box video, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about that, about this, get at me in the comments. I'm happy to kind of answer when I have a bit of free time. Give me a thumbs up here on YouTube if you enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe if you have not already. I got more videos coming out, and yeah, I'll get back to the nuts and bolts and tactics. I'll give you that stuff as well, but um, we got to do the cloud stuff and the in the dirt stuff. Got to balance balance that out because that is the key to life and I hope you found value in this video and I hope you make a commitment to yourself and your audience to really kind of move forward and be of service to your audience. Know that the more value you add to the lives of more people and the more problems you help them solve, the better off you will be, the faster your income will grow and ultimately that is the big challenge if you're watching this video that you're looking to accomplish. So I hope this has helped you on that path to success and I will catch you on the next video. Until then, thanks for your time and be well.